mythical creatures, visions from a rural childhood, and indigenous women, sculpted from clay and signed J.G.A. The letters stand for José García Antonio, but there's one thing that sets this Mexican folk artist apart. He's blind. My sight was completely gone, but I didn't lose hope or become sad or bitter. No, as a man, I looked at my life and said to myself, I have lost my sight, but I have not lost my life. Having dedicated his life to art, José lost his sight to glaucoma at age 55. Yet he says the visions of what he sculpts are fresh in his mind and that he has learned to see with his hands. I discovered that my senses of feeling and hearing were stronger and I began to work again. Now I feel that I can see, but through my touch, because I can make figures using my hands as if they were my sight. When I had my vision, I don't believe I sculpted as well as I do now, because today, all of my time is for my work. His wife, Santa Reina, has stood by his side. I admire him because he was never sad. He would tell me, don't cry. I'm the head of this household, and I'm going to work so that you and my children can eat. Jose Garcia is known in art circles around the world for his ceramic sculptures. And here in this art gallery in the state capital, his work goes on sale. Alex, very good nice. To see you. Good How to are see you? you. Very well. Welcome. Welcome. Eric Chavez is the gallery's curator and works to promote Jose's work. Maestro Jose Garcia, it's, it's an icon for a uh, Oaxacan. Uh, folk art. The level of detail that we find in his work is also really inspiring to us to, to give him uh, spaces like this for recognition and uh, exhibition. So uh, yeah, it's, it's quite something to, to, to look at his work and look at him working. As Jose Garcia's art spreads across the world, his message of positivity through adversity travels too in the indigenous faces he sculpts. Alastair Babastock, CGTN, Oaxaca State, Mexico.